Okay, this is the second video about uh, subconscious metaphors that result in acting out. When the subconscious mind takes over and, and the conscious mind is, is not in play. That might happen when a person gets pretty drunk, for instance. Um, there's a place that I ran into, and I ran into it in, on, the, on the physical plane, but I have to say that most of my intel with regard to this place is psychic and so I again I cannot go to the police they're they're very put out with psychics you know it's not like on TV with psychic people helping the police it's more like we're we're a huge bother to them they don't want a thing to do with us so I'm telling you readers in case in case there's somebody out there that that will benefit from it I'm not talking to the perverts I'm talking to you who might be taken advantage of by people who might become violent. And that's what I mean by perversion. I don't mean fun in the bedroom. I mean a potential for violence in the act of sex or something that passes for the act of sex. Uh, this other instance had to do with a house uh, that was used to lure children who were out in the woods. It's kind of like Hansel and Gretel, <laughs> really. It was used to lure young men, um, preteens and early teens, to the house using uh, various things like music and animals, and there were various ways. And once they got them there, uh, they were the children were introduced to the boys were introduced to M to M sexual practices by local people who passed for straight but who used that place for M to M. And um, uh, the trail, the trail that led to that place apparently was financed by these people because instead of having a sign that said such and such trail, it had a sign that said such and such tail, T-A-I-L. Now tail is another word for, for having sex and so a sign with a like a typo or misspelling like that, a slip of the hand, a slip of the action, uh, reveals the subconscious metaphor in question. If you go down that trail there's a chance that you'll be molested by maybe a very rich set of people that can hide whatever they do and and that in engaging what is called party house activities with the younger set. So um, you talk to your parents about this you'll understand more I feel. You'll understand what to avoid. I know it's difficult when you're first learning about things like that to know the up and the down of it but in general strange men that lure you to a strange place are up to no good and then and you might end up injured or dead you know this is for the young people I know I'm not a parent and so I really have no right to speak except that I have a concern for all the people on earth and especially those that are helpless or or don't understand that they're in danger right now you guys stay safe God bless you all keep you safe and be with you through all your days take care until next time